Good afternoon. Uh, sorry, uh, because I'm French and you know my accent uh, it, it will be uh, not so well. But first of all, I would like to thank Mislav Kolokuzik for and his team for organizing this event. My dear parliamentary colleagues, mm -hmm. the international experts, and also Frederick Balden. This is the man who is demanding the removal of the president of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, and is here, and we can applaud him. <laughs> the management of the COVID crisis has been causing surprising decision-making at national, European, and global level for more than two and a half years. With the lack of transparency, and active cooperation with Big Pharma have been the hallmark of our institution, which have not hesitated to flout our individual and collective freedoms in the name of the safety of all and the fight against the virus. It is so be feared that with an international treaty on pandemics, which is moreover legally binding, our member states will be dispossessed of their sovereignty in terms of health and that aberrant and unfair miseries, such as the suspension of unvaccinated caregivers, be perpetuated. For through the past year of the COVID Commission has met, the elements that will remain in your our minds are also the repeated refusals of the main players to respond to our invitation, like WHO President Tedros was among those who refused to intervene. The COVID Commission was unable to summon her like Mr. Bourla, the CEO of Pfizer, or Ursula von der Leyen. The 5th of June, the World Health Organization has announced that it will use the European Union Digital COVID Certificate to launch our global digital certification system thanks to a historic partnership to strengthen global health security, according to its director, which states that the future system should help facilitate mobility and protect citizens around the world against current and future threats to health, including pandemics. But who asks that? This global organization therefore tacitly validates the failure of the European Union in terms of management of the pandemic and vaccination policy with a flagrant lack of transparency, conflicts of interest and draconian miseries linked to the health pass. Transferring this power to the WHO is tantamount to creating a sort of world F government dispossessed states of their sovereignty and further alienating citizens from decision makers. In this management of a pandemic, the state remains the best level to adapt its miseries to real situation without falling into the ears of generalized draconian measures, such as a confinement of prohibition of access to certain public places, which are not always justified. We are opposed to the establishment of this global governance, the tools of which will have significant consequences of the private lives of citizens who are increasingly subject to the draconian miseries imposed by unelected, unelected sorry, technocrats in globalized structures. Thank you again to be there. Thank you. We need you and because we're keeping this fight. And thank you again to be there. <laughs> 